Today's video is brought to you by the Motherboards.org Gaming Deal of the Week. Get Dead Space 2 for only $4.99 on Amazon. Check out the link in the description below. Hey tech enthusiasts and those who love hardware, Elric Ferris here once again on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel to bring you guys the first look at unboxing of a brand new card from the people over at ASUS. What card is this? Well, this is their new GTX 560 Ti Direct CU2 Top Edition card. This card's overclocked at 900 megahertz, features two gigabytes of GDR5 memory, and a lot of other stuff that we'll talk about in the unboxing and first look. So without any further ado, let's hop in and see what this card's all about. Alright folks, let's first just take a look at the front side of the box. You can see they got some pretty cool stuff. They took time to put their artwork on there, so we want to show you guys that. I'm sure the artists will appreciate that. You can see it's a 900 megahertz overclocked right out of the box. It's the GTX 560 Ti, 2GB DDR5 memory, obviously DirectX 11. Let's flip it around the back of the box where they actually have some of the stuff that actually really matters about it. Now, here we see the Direct CU2. Now, this is their cooling solution. It features three six millimeter flattened copper heat pipes with have direct contact with the GPU for 20% cooler than generic GeForce GTX 560 Ti performance. Now, the super alloy power, this is pretty much one of the main features of the card. It's 15% performance boost. 35C cooler than the other card. That's quite a big boost. And it says that it has 2.5 the lifespan of other cards on the market. For overclocking and tweaking your card, ASUS features GPU tweak. That's their software tweak. Here you guys see some of the rear eye functions. And beyond that, let's just like jump in and now take a look at the card. Now you guys know all that 3D vision stuff, 3D surround, all that's gonna be supported by this card as well. Always is an Indian video card. Hard to open the box without doing a little bit of rip and tab there. So go ahead and pull this thing out now. I just hit the microphone, so uh, sorry about that, folks. You hear a big kaboom? That was me hitting the microphone. My bad. Sorry. So what else is in here? All right. We got the top. This is going to be all of our drivers and stuff. Take the box. We'll bop it out of the way. Here goes the other box. It should have the other peripheral stuff. So let's get that out of the way. So let's start out with the peripherals. We've got two Molex to dual six pin connectors. Dual Molex, dual six pin. DVI to VGA. Little DVI to VGA connector there. We have mini HDMI to standard HDMI. Then we have the driver CD, speed setup manual. Then we get to the heart of the matter, the card itself. Dun, dun, dun. So, let's take that out of here. You guys can see it's all completely sealed in this plastic wrap, so I don't need to make that anymore. I'll get that out of the way. Take the card over here. We will break the virgin seal of the card. Right, get the plastic off. Another little plastic thing up here on the top. Two little seals. And I want to set the card in the glass table, so I'll just go ahead and set this down here to protect the table and the card. And let's take the card out of the plastic bag. All right, there we go. So we'll start up on top. We see the dual fan design. You can see the heat sinks underneath. To the side, the shroud is completely enclosed. So I'll flip the card over this way. Here we can see the two six pin power connectors. Once again, we can see another part of the Direct CU cooler. And here we have the SLI finger. Now you can see there's only a single SLI finger on this card. Show you guys the back of the card. Now let's set the card down and let's see how big the card actually is. I got the measuring tape here. So the card size is in at exactly 10 inches. So you know it's gonna be a true lady pleaser. As far as its height, it's four inches high. And as far as the width, it is about two inches in width, actually about one and a half, correct in there, about one and a half inches thick. So we'll have that translated into centimeters for you guys back on the screen. Now let's flip it around. So lastly, let's talk about the rear IO. 
Now this rear IO is, to me is a little bit light, but eh, you know, I'm just picky. I really like to have a display port on my cards, but that's just me. This one you get two DVIs and a single mini HDMI port, which works with that little adapter that we showed you earlier. Go ahead and just take one of these off so you can take a sneak peek. Put that little bad boy back on there. So let's just set everything out here, folks. Here's the card. Here are all the accessories for the card. And so that's it. This is everything that comes in the box of the new ASUS GTX 560 Ti Direct CU2 Top Edition card.